Hey, hey, shalom, shalom, viewing audience. This is Israel United in Christ, and this is the Writings on the Wall radio, radio show. show. That's right. To my right, Officer Badaya. Shalom, Israel, Officer Elijah. Shalom, Israel, Officer Samson. All right, Israel, I'm Officer David, Most High in Christ Plus. Hey, this is your place for end time news. That's right. Yes, it is. All praises. Hey, IT, what's up? The music is slow. It's slow, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I can barely hear it. But hey, hey, we back with another show. All praise to the most high, All man. All praise. We, uh, yeah. we finally got everybody. The hell right. is this? You know, right. this remind me of uh, Motown 25. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's remind me of Motown 25, right, man. Show, yeah, man. Everybody yeah. back. Everybody yeah. Back. Randy. You remember that? <laughs> Randy came on this. You know. All right, all right. Everybody don't remember that. I do. All right, uh, what you got? What you got, Officer David? You're back. You was you was gone last week. Hey, all praise the man. It's good to be back. Yeah, I was out on the last week on the dealing with issues with the family. But, hey, man, it's good to be back. Um, right. A lot going on in the world. Yeah. All right, Iran is um, all right, threatening on a nuclear war. Um, on the Joe Biden is lying all over the place. Well, what else is new? <laughs> what else is new? Dang lying. Hey, put Americus on the microphone. He ain't been here yeah, about yeah, six yeah. months. Samson, what you got? Hey, Shalom, Israel. It's most high Christ. Bless. Hey, it feel good to be back. It feel good to be here. I'm to bring God, no saying the world of God. So, hey, I'm gonna do you like Deacon Abiel do Captain Palu. Hey, welcome to the show, uh, <laughs> Officer Samson. <laughs> First time. Thank you for visiting. <laughs> Thank you for visiting. Dang, that's All right. praises, Dang. officers. All praises. What y'all got, man? What y'all got? It's very. It's, things are getting pretty hype right Something now. Something else. I, I was gonna say uh, <laughs> you have you have um, uh, China and Taiwan and America. That's that's pretty, that's getting pretty heated. You also have the monkey pop uh, that that going crazy. Oh, okay. Monkey so, pox. Yeah. Monkey. So you got, you know. damn. You got people getting shot over warm food. We got. Thank you. Lord, Th- okay, this take the mic from this guy because that's like the first article. This guy, every time. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Spilling the beans. Yeah, that's Quincy, Florida. Yeah, that's Quincy, hey, man. That's Quincy, man. Hey, but hey, if y'all ain't got nothing, man, we about to get into it. Play the clip. MSNBC's Joy Reid compares SCOTUS abortion decision to slavery. What Alito said oh, is, gosh. your state owns your body. Now, damn. what we're going to do, we're actually going to play the video, but I'm going to just say, uh, this black woman, she does not speak for me, Bring it nor up. does she speak for the rest of us. Right. Nope. But this, is, this just goes to show what happens when you live outside of the Bible. What I mean by that, she is of the, uh, she's a liberal. Right. All right. She's a liberal, meaning what she's always tied to uh, civil rights and uh, mm-hmm. things that pertain to the person, like their rights. Come on now. So no. any comment that she make is going to be based off of the liberal right. idealist right. mindset. Right. Right. Well, black women don't want to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but do me a favor. Play the clip. We're going to listen to this foolishness real quick. Uh Play that. Got the blonde hair. Already Some in the say okay. Okay, we got a commercial. One day, this lecture hall will Don't be put it on me. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all didn't skip the commercial. Come on now. Skip it. Any day now. Can we skip the commercial? Any How long is it? Uh, oh. This how we kicking it off? With a long, long commercial? commercial. Won't let them skip. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Hey, we might as well break down the commercial. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Metaverse, hey, beware beware of the Metaverse, man. Beware of the Metaverse. It's coming. All right. Okay, it's up. All right, play that. I think it's actually poetic that it happened in Kansas because this is a state that wrestled with the question of who owns people. Um, It wrestled with the question of slavery. And this question is a question of who owns you, of who owns your body, right? And what Alito said is your state owns your body. The minute you become pregnant, your state owns your body and and your state can tell you what to do with it. Sorry, no luck, you don't own yourself. But this is a fundamental issue for women, but it's also a fundamental issue across religion. All right, real quick. So let's do what she says. She say, 
uh, the state owns our body. Now, we understand, what's that, Nehemiah 9? Yes. yes. Read that real quick. Give me Nehemiah 9. Yes, that is, in fact, true, 100%. 100 percent message all right watch this oh what verse was it 37 37 yes sir the book of nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 37 go ahead and it yieldeth much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over mm -hmm. over us because of our sins because of our sins now think about it think about it because of our sins you know, our forefathers used to sacrifice their children unto God. Right. Now, the reason why the state and the reason why the powers that be have dominion over our bodies is a direct result of sin. That's right. But you got this sister right here. She's trying to hold on to the sin. Right. 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 Which means what? You are, in a, not in a sense, but in reality, you're saying you have no problem with the state having dominion over our bodies. Right. Now, the thing that gets nasty and sick about it and just uh, ridiculous, the I'm mindset that she that said is that telling her that she can't have an abortion is like slavery. Now, that's the crazy part. The that's the disrespectful the part to our forefathers because right. they actually went through that thing. They had right. the hard bondage, and we still catching hell from the, the mental side of it. Yep. You better read um, Bible. Finish that off. I wanted to finish my statement. Let me finish that verse off real quick. Also, they have dominion over our bodies and over our cattle at their pleasure. At their what? At their pleasure. So, she, so she's saying, this is what she's saying. Remember, the master, he could do whatever he wanted. Yep. Not just the woman's <laughs> body, right. but the man's man, body yep. too. Right. All right, master would what? Rape the man. He would castrate the man. He would rape the little boy, rape the little girl. Same thing to the woman. Lord, so what man. she's saying is what? Killing black people. This is what she's saying. She's saying uh, not letting blacks kill blacks is the same as slavery. Right. Right. But you got to understand. You got to understand this is that, that liberalist mindset. Right. Because her mind is according to Esau's mind. It's not right. according to God's mind. Right. So remember that. Remember that. Majority of our people, you know, the higher ups are saying, um, give me that in 1 Corinthians. This one just came to me. You know, those who are of notoriety and that are known, 1 Corinthians 1, what is it, uh, verse, or is it 2? Not many mighty. Give me that one real quick. Not many mighty. It's 1 and 20. What is it? What is it? Is it 2? Yeah, 26. 26. I'm sorry. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. Watch this. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. For ye see your calling, brethren. How that not many wise men after the flesh. Right, after the flesh, because she has, uh, she's a liberal, right. okay? So anything that she speaks, she's going to support the, liber the liberal, uh, right. liberalism. Right. Right. That's what she's going to uh, support. So the scriptures say, it says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, meaning after this worldly knowledge, read. Right. Not many mighty. Not many mighty who have power and authority and uh, who have notoriety in the earth. Come on. Not many noble are called. It says not many of these type of people are going to be called. All right. So when you see black faces like this, they don't speak. They don't speak for us. Right. All right. What they're doing, they're pushing an agenda. Right. They're pushing the oppressor's agenda. Now, remember, what is the oppressor's agenda? To rape, rob, murder, and yep. to destroy us and, and, and make our cause even worse than what it is. Right. So when she say, what she's saying, um, she's saying the, the black on black deaths. And that's what that's what abortion is. That's, it. that's what abortion is, is that's you it. killing other black people. Right, right, right. All right. She's trying to stand up for the killing of black people because that's what massa teach. That's right. what the oppressor teach. Right. Um, Y'all have something? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, let, me, let me let me get um, Isaiah uh, to go along with what you were saying about vile, uh, liberal. Give me Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 32, verse 5. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32 and verse 5. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. See, it says the vile person. So that, that tells you uh, how liberal has been connected to being vile, mm -hmm. I mean, filth. Because I'm sorry, when you think about it, obviously abortion is a wrong thing. Right, yes. She right. tries to bring religion into it. it. And we're going to get to that later because our people, even in the Christian church, is supporting this madness, right. man. Right. But just showing you something ridiculous. easy to be identified as killing somebody. 
they can't see it for what it is. Right. They have to, uh, like Bishop always said, they got to put another name on it to make right. it sound better. Yeah, right. well, go ahead, officer. Yeah, so, so what you're seeing here, that's them, that's Esau using a sister uh, in the forefront to show that what they're doing is not evil. Now, think about it. If you're comparing this to uh, uh, slavery, kind of like what you were just going over, first of all, during slavery, um, those sisters that get raped, that end up having children, did they have the right to abort? You didn't have that. Uh, you have to, no. you have to have those children. And yet our four mothers, um, as disgusting that was, they still hold their head up. And now here you are, you prefer to go and open your legs and go and mess around with whosoever on one night stand, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then now getting pregnant by that foolish Men that probably don't care. Mm -hmm. And then now you want to go ahead and get rid of that baby. You say, if I, if I don't have the right to get rid of that baby, it's the same thing as those that are like working from sun, sun up to sundown, uh, nonstop, working for free, getting whooped. All these things were going on. Getting lynched if you, if you dare to eat something from that uh, uh, plantation. And then, yeah, you're going to compare this to your choice. Don't have to have sex. You don't have. If you don't have sex, you won't have babies. Right. If you're not married, you won't care about. You wouldn't be avoiding because now you're married. You have a exactly. choice. Exactly. So Come on. that makes no sense. It do because they're the damn devil, man. That's Give me John right. eight forty four. They're the you know, damn you devil. That's what it is. You hear me? That's what it is. Hey. Just like Cain, okay. Just like Cain uh, allowed the devil Satan to rule over him. Right. The same right. way Esau. The so-called white man around the, the devil to rule over him. Right. That's, That's what it is. When our people want to justify sin, you got the same spirit. You are of the devil. That's That's right. Right. Read what you got. John chapter 8, verse 44. Come on. Ye are of your father, the devil, mm -hmm. and the lust of your father ye will do. And the lust of your father ye will do. That's what the devil wants you to do is That's to right. kill the Israelites, right. to kill the chosen people of God. Right. That's why I said you you are of your father, the devil. Because you want to fulfill his will. Right. Go ahead. He was a murderer from the beginning. He was a what? A murderer from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning. If you hate your brother, meaning if you want to have an abortion, you hate your people. That's, That's, right. Right. That's what it is. At the end of the day, and to, and to have the nerve to compare the murdering of your own people to our struggle, right. Right. man, yeah. sit your ass. Wait, what, what my sound? What my sound by that? Hit it, Cap. Hit it. Hit it. Sit, your ass, sit your ass down, man. Hey, Cap, what you got to think about, you would never see a Jewish man get on there and compare, um, um, what is it, abortion to the Holocaust, even uh, though no. our slavery was Not way no. worse than the Holocaust. Nah, you ain't going to see nothing like that, man. That's, it's always, it's all people. Give me Isaiah 32 right. and 9, man. You know? Hey, I'm going to tell you, hey, you righteous sisters, y'all are all right. But you black women, you must be stopped. That's right. Thus That's saith right. the Lord. Right. Right. Black women don't want to be happy. <laughs> Read what you got, man. Isaiah 32 and 9, man. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Go ahead. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Yeah, man, she at ease with the blonde hair. She got status. She's speaking. She with the uh, liberalist. All right, you have some, officer? Yes, sir. Real quick on the cap. Let me get Romans on the 14 and 7 and 8. All right, because our... On the women is on the taking the power out of God's hand, and on so they're choosing to commit this murder. Right. All right, but on the life and death is of the Most High. I, I want to read that real quick. Romans chapter fourteen and verse seven: For none of us liveth to himself, read. and no man dieth to himself. Uh huh. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. So we live unto the Lord. All right, our life is for God. All right, on the but our women. On committing these abortions is taking that power out of God's hands, right. and now you're placing yourself in on His position. Read they on. got that blood is on their hands. Yes, That's sir. what they don't understand. Just because uh, it wasn't done in the sight of man, and just because you didn't go to prison for it, uh -huh. that blood is still on your hands. Right. That's right. All right. That's why you need Christ. You learn today, That's you know. why you need Christ because a lot of y'all got 10, 11, 12, 13 bodies on you. Damn. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Read on. Read on. And whether we die. We die unto the Lord. So the Lord's on the choice. All right, it's up to the Lord to take life. All right, it ain't up to us to be like, all right, man, I'm going to commit this murder. Right. All right, I'm going to do this right here to take this life. All right, that's up to the Lord. Read. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. We are the Lord's. All right, so we got to commit 
I want to stop on the committing these abortions and actually put that power back on where it's supposed to go. I want to go ahead, Cash. Hey, let's go to the next. Uh, let's go to the next article for the sake of time. What we got? Coon of the week. This is NewYorkPost.com. Gunman in McDonald's shooting charged multiple charged in multiple cases after cold fry spat. Yeah, so wait a minute. So yeah, read that real quick, man. This was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It's sad, but I automatically knew it was Jake. This don't make one bit of sense. Because only Jake would yeah. do some nigga sh like that. <laughs> you know what I'm my my fries is cold. Just I'm ask like, for some right. hot fries. Can I get some hot fries? Right. Can I get some hot fries? Do you no, mind? They always give you hot yeah, fries, but sure. but you gave me cold fries? Nah. You gotta see me now. It's like, come on, man. That's that's nigga stuff right there. But hey, hey, uh, read read that, bro. The man who allegedly shot a Brooklyn McDonald's worker in the neck during a heated spat over cold fries was charged with attempted murder and slapped with another murder rap for a separate 2020 slaying. Cops said Wednesday. You see that foolishness, man? And that's what it is. Hey, you guess what? He ain't no different. He ain't no different uh, than that sister who up. compared uh, abortion to slavery, bro. Right. Sam Demon. Same Demon. Demon. Got that murder spirit hating hey, your hey, brother. And you know that's right. I, hey, hey, show the picture of the dude that did it, man. Show the picture of him getting uh, handcuffed. See this foolishness, man? I saw our own people uh, right there. All right, now show the video. Go back to the article. Show the video, man. Over some cold fries. This is what he did to his own brother. Mm -hmm. Damn. Watch this, man. Crazy. Just, just outrageous. That's why we need, bro. That's why we need Christ. That's right. Because we crazy as hell. Our people crazy, man. Yes, sir. Um, that's why we need this Bible. Laws. Mm -hmm. Laws. Play that. You better. They got our brother out on the streets bleeding, bro. Lord, have over some cold fries. That's embarrassing. Lord's will to brother be all right and get these scriptures, man. To my knowledge, he survived this. To my knowledge. Hey, get that in 1 John 3. You see that, man? Look at all that blood spill. Give me um, Hosea 4 first. Yeah, man. Hosea chapter 4, man. Blood, our own brother's blood spilling over some french fries that was made in 10 minutes. I'm right. sick of it. Over some potatoes, bro. They ain't even healthy up. for you. They ain't even good for you. They gonna kill you anyway. Right. Right. And you mad at your brother, man. Exactly. Hey, read that Hosea 4. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Children of Israel. Because we the ones who need it because we doing bugged out stuff like this. Right. Right. Read what you got. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Why? Because there is no truth. No mercy. Uh, there's no mercy, bro. You couldn't let the brother just go and heat up some fries and just drop another batch? There you go. Know. Over some French fries? Go ahead. Dang. No knowledge of God in the land. We don't have no knowledge of God. We don't have no knowledge of self. We don't understand that we look like God. We look like Christ. We don't understand right, that right, thing right, that the right, Jews right. are black. Right. If we understood that, we wouldn't be shooting each other in the neck. Right. All right, go ahead. By swearing. And lying, uh -huh. and killing, Read. and stealing. It said by killing and stealing. Go ahead. And committing adultery. Uh huh. They break out, and blood touches blood. And blood touches blood. We seen our brothers' blood dripping in the streets over some probably two dollar French fries. I'm sick of it. Because it's that hatred that we have amongst each other. Uh, what I call First John, right? Three. Read that one for me, please. The book of what's the uh, what verse? It's eighteen. The book of First John. Chapter 3 and verse 18. Come on. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Right. Give me the one that hated his brother. You looking at it. 15, verse 15. 15. Yeah, read that. Verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Right. It say whoever hated his brother is a murderer. Okay. So we, we got to do better as, as a people. You have something? Yes, yeah, sir. Real quick. On, give me Matthew 11 and 16. on Because we got to grow up. Right. All right, we got to grow up as men. Bring it All right, leaders of our community. All right, this is a childlike behavior on which on the children do. All right, the, uh, the fries is cold, on, so I got to go off and throw a tantrum, and now a life is lost. On, Come on, on now, dog. On, read that. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 16. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? Read. It is like unto children. It is like unto children sitting in the markets. So we is on the woman. And on the acting like we're children in the marketplace. All right, we got to grow up. All right, your French fries is cold. Ask for new fries. All right, why you got to shoot somebody? Right. 
All right, man, that's that black on black. They might have supersized him if he would have asked, yeah, hey, my fries, would. oh, can right. I give you an extra would. drink or something? Yeah, my bad, or threw in a pie or like a so, burger or something. God's dog. Well, <laughs> now, now this brother laying in a pool of blood. All right, man, that's not even necessary. Right. Well, well, ain't no way, What's crazy, man. Cap, is the story actually had a twist to it. It was over a woman arguing with the employee, and she called her son. Yeah, I seen that. Yes, I did see that's that. That's what happened. Right. So it was the black woman again, mm -hmm. and then her mm -hmm. and her son got locked up. So she done took her son's life being like a child, like Officer Davis and fought up. Hey, all praise. I'm glad all you praise. brought this up. So what's that show you? They hate us in the streets when we're teaching them, hey, you must have. You must marry. Marriage is honorable. Single house home. We gotta get rid of that. Obviously, you could tell that brother was not raised by a father. Right. Right. He's very That's emotional. Right. Mm -hmm. If he was raised by his father, he would have had the composure to know. He would have told the mother, "Calm down, mom. Right. Get just give the woman a fry, and we go about our way." That's but right. Obviously, he probably was raised by his mom, and the father is not in the picture. Hey, keep keep going, officer. Hey, pull that video of that. Crazy sister acting up in the uh gross uh in the in a corner store. Y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. It's a separate, it's not this, right, but it's going along with this. Just right. to show the, the mentality of a lot of right. our sisters. Right, right. Go ahead, officer. And and and, and un unfortunately, every time the same thing with that sister earlier that was talk talking, it shows you these pattern of these crazy women that end up bring what monsters. Right. Yeah. Reason why you yeah. see those things going on in our neighborhood, in our community, is because they don't want to get married. They they, they want to wait till they're like forty something, fifty something. That's when they want to get go ahead and get settled mm -hmm. and have multiple uh, children by different right, fathers. Right, 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 and right. these kids have no dad in the home to take care of them. And then now they're in the corner streets, shooting down and killing people and do wicked right. stuff. That's this all because they don't want to listen to God's word. You're That's right. exactly right, officer. Hey, IT, how we looking on that uh, video? We good? Hey, this is just an example. This is something separate. But just showing you, man, all women are out of control. Right. Out of control. All this dude I had to do is just be a man. That's all he had to right. do. You know, but hey, she, uh, I believe you, you know, she escaped, you know, without you know, losing her life. Right, right. But she, the, all of this right here is uncalled for. Right. And this is probably the same spirit, like Officer brought out, that right. the sister had in McDonald's. Right. Right. And then her her son grew up seeing that, mm -hmm. and that's how he reacts. There you go. All, all right. right, play that. I you didn't want my, I'm waiting on the police, put your ass, bitch, you want the fuck I do? The fuck you thought? So I'm sorry, sisters, can somebody call in and tell us why the sisters believe that they can get in men's faces and do that? I, st I still don't have the breakdown, nor do I understand. First and foremost, it's not attractive at all. At all. Secondly, sisters could get seriously hurt. Seriously hurt, bro. Go back to the clip. Okay, you got it. You got it. You want some? Habib, like, leave me alone. Start over. Start over. All of them been on the ground and everything. Start over. Bitch, I ain't playing with you. Embarrassing. What the fuck is this? Bitch, I been here for 45 minutes playing with your ass, and now you want to give me something? Bitch, you got me fucked up. See, wearing pants. Wearing pants. Wow. Wow. Bitch, you got me fucked up. 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 Wow. Wow. Bitch, you got you can give me some bags. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do around this bitch. What the wow. fuck you want? What you want? That's his story. Tell the kid I'm going to fuck you up. Hey, and the thing about it, it was her kids hey. that was damn tearing up the stove. Right. And he just like, hey, you know, you can't be doing that. Right. right. The black woman, and then we ain't going to play, but she ends up spitting in this dude's face. Yeah. Come on now. You know, no. then he backhanded, her, but I mean that's justified. Right. right. Damn, but it's it's the lack lack of working. accountability, man. Right. Uh -huh. The lack of accountability. We got to do better, man. For the sake of time, let's go to the next. Uh, that too. Hmm? The church is also a part of that. Oh yeah, you yeah. Right. Oh TD, yeah. that's your man's Lou. TD. Yeah. TD is right. part of that. That's right. your doing right there. That's uh that's the first member to your church every Sunday. Right. All right. All right. Go to the next article. Woman thou art loosed. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, this took place in, I think it was Texas. Uh, I thought you were going to say Oklahoma. Which, well, it was close to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We ain't throwing shots. I ain't saying up. nothing. We ain't yeah. throwing shots. I ain't saying nothing. Uh -uh. But this right here is a new 
thing in dance competitions. What the hell? You know, they have like, you know, singles, like you do your own dance and they have right. couples dances uh-huh. that are always a man and a woman. Right. Now they have something new on the earth. Play uh-huh. the freaking clip. Hey, who man is this? All right, all right, I've had enough, I've had enough. I'm going to just let you know, if anybody thought that was, well, that doesn't mean you are the yeah. devil. I'm going to just let you know, ain't nothing manly about that. At all. It's called, the, the that part of the competition is called man on man. It's called, ah. uh, it's called, uh. Uh. Hey. Damn. Super gay. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Anybody want to speak on this one? Elijah, you I, want to speak thank on? God for the uh, <laughs> Satan too. Right. Well, I got some for him, Cap. Okay, go, go ahead. You ain't said nothing, go so bring first, it up. First Corinthians on um, six and nine, mm-hmm. because that's, what I know, that's effeminate. A Super. Man just dancing side to side, hip to hip with another man. It ain't that's right. It. It. That's not right. It ain't right. Hey, did anybody miss the fact that they was their hands was locked together? Right. <laughs> that ain't, and they was looking at each other, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Shaking each other, that. throwing each other. So, uh-uh. Yeah. That, that's uh-uh. not according to the Bible. Uh-uh. Let's get that. Let's get that. The cool book of, of the first, week. Go ahead. <laughs> first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh-huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom so of the God? So the unrighteousness is not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Really? Only righteous is going to inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived. Be what? Be not deceived. Read. Neither fornicators, uh-huh. nor idolaters, mm-hmm. nor adulterers, mm-hmm. nor effeminate. Nor what? Nor effeminate. What they were doing out there was effeminate. That's right. Does the Lord. Hey, you know I mean? Man to man hey, locking hey, hands together. Hey. That's not right. Read uh, on. All nor- praises didn't happen in Florida. Oh, yes. Thank God. It did not. Oh, praise to the most high. <laughs> all right, though. Nor abuses of themselves with mankind. That's hey, what they were doing. They were Bruce and they said. All right, all right. You know? <laughs> all right. I, I, didn't, I didn't click a video where uh-huh. men was abused. I didn't play that. Uh, yeah, we did. I will that, not. Uh, I will <laughs> not. Uh, all right. No, 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 hey, forget all this cornery, man. Let's get into the topics. Let's get the, the hell topics. is this? Oh, real, real. Hell wrong with him. Hey, too much. Topic too one. Much. Too much. Uh, Sheesh. <laughs> World food reduction. World food reduction. All right, first thing. First article. Read it. State of emergency declared in New York because of monkeypox. Uh-oh. New York Governor this Kathy Hochul has, has decided to declare a state of emergency in the state due to an outbreak of monkeypox. To date, New York accounts for one in four cases of infection in the United States, according to the press service of the state. Mm-hmm. According to the latest data, 1,345 cases of monkeypox have been identified in New York. See that thing right there? So it started with four... And then, you know, just a little case here, a little right. case there. Now, New York got over a 1,000 documented cases. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Officers, man, what's going on in the earth, man? What's going on? Man, Cap, man. Um, so the pestilences and the famines is rising, man. Right. And the Every Bible is a day. true book. On, give me that in Matthew 24. Yep. Mm-hmm. 24. You better yes, read your Bible. The book of verse 7. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 7. Read. For a nation shall rise against nation. So we're seeing that already. Russia and Ukraine, the wars on Iran's got nuclear weapons. All right, a nation is rising against nation, read. And kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, kingdom against kingdom, read. And there shall be famine. So there shall be famines. All right, I seen something in North Carolina where uh, the Walmart on was empty. All right, there wasn't no food there or nothing right there. Um, so the famines is taking place. Here in America, read. Right. And pestilences. And pestilences on the different diseases. On the COVID is back. All right, running rampant on the monkey pox and all these other things is going on. I want to finish the verse. And earthquakes in diverse places. All right. Uh, 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 so that's uh, taking place as well on earthquakes and different on the natural disasters is going on. Um, go ahead, Cap. Or right. officers. Like, right. Um, or go ahead. No, go ahead. Like, like, um, it's, it says in Second Peter, it says when you see these things happening, you should want to change. What right. manner of right. people are you Better to be? Mm-hmm. Right. But the Bible already prophesied we ain't gonna change. Give me that in right. Second right. Ezra. Uh, I've changed. <laughs> All right. Well, a hey. couple of people ain't gonna change. Cal. Tell wrong hey. with y'all today. <laughs> Give me that in Second Ezra, uh, sixteen and nineteen. 
Because there are going to be some people looking at all this stuff going on and still keeping their wickedness. Read that. Right, right. The book of Second Esdras, chapter 16 and verse 19. Read. Behold, famines and plagues. And what? And plagues. That's what we're witnessing. Like Officer David just pointed out, famine is already hitting. When, when it started to hit America, that means we're on the last leg. I mean that it's about to happen because America's supposed to be the, the, the great um, city. Read. Tribulation and anguish really? are set as scourges for amendment. So God sent these things as scourges. So, so understand that as these are happening, God had everything to do with that. Read. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. They're still going to push LGBT. They're still going to push man and boy love. They're still going to push everything that goes against the Bible. They're going to push everything that goes against everything that God speak about. Let me get a preach there. Again, um, <laughs> Hold on. Again, bro. We didn't even have Nambla as a, well, as a title. Again. We didn't even have, we didn't even cover uh, Na Nambla today. Again. Really? We're pushing all that, guy. I think you pushing it, bro. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we got a call. <laughs> okay, all praises. Let's take the caller. Hey, Shalom, caller. What's your question or your comment? Hey, Shalom, brother. I got a comment. Um, so I know one of the officers had bought out that second Peter's. Um, he bought out the second Peter's, but I, I was kind of, I want to go off of that, that second Peter's uh, chapter 3, verse 9. Uh, no, it was verse 8, I'm sorry. But like, you know, because the Lord, you know, a day to the Lord is a thousand years. So, I don't think the, the like it's not lining up to people like off off like you know the quickness because it's slowly coming you know that's why people can't see it but it's definitely there. I just like to say I, I like what y'all doing, man. Y'all keep doing y'all things. All praise to the Most High. It's it's you know it's happening, but I could tell you you could feel that things are are speeding up as right. well. But no, nah, it's 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 right around the corner, bro. Right. Hey, uh, real quick, man, for the sake of time, let's get into this. Uh, Let's go to the next one, um, the food bank. Watch this. Aljazeera.com. Why didn't you care about Africa's hunger crisis? The food crisis across the world triggered by the Ukraine war have suddenly put the issue of food security at the top of the global agenda. But in Africa, hunger is not an emerging issue. It has always been a part of our lives. See, why no, is no, the world... they're good. They're good over there. Go ahead. So why is the world only taking notice now? Go ahead. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll Come up. on, IT. Help us out. Help us out. Stay focused. Because of the global distribution of power, we live in a world where certain humanitarian issues are only seen as pressing problems when they start affecting the global north. That's the point I wanted right there. You know, it's saying, you know, Africa's, they've been dealing with uh, famine. Right. You know, many uh, food insecurities for years. Right. Why? That because works. that's what that's what the European nations did. Right. They colon right. colonized right. African nations and destabilized them. Right. They, right. Were, they were rich in natural resources. Mm -hmm. But now, guess what? They got to pay taxes to wow. the various European countries. I'm sick of and that. so they're always in debt. So they they struggle with food insecurity. Yeah, right. Now the only reason now you know it's it's being mentioned and people starting to take note is because Europe's starting to feel the food insecurity. Exactly. America's starting to feel uh to uh feel the food insecurity as well. Now it y'all got me a little messed up because y'all didn't update the this right here. So go to the next article, please. That'd be you, this, IT guy. Yeah, next All right, play this, please. If you are a friend to the poor and the oppressed and the hungry, we and we know this. When it comes to when it comes to Esau, we know they're not a friend to us. They could right. care less. Because remember, they're the ones who scattered us. They're the right. ones who ha uh, who have us hidden right now. Right, right, yeah. We're the poor, according to Isaiah 14 and uh, 32. Right. We're the poor on the earth. So we know they're not a friend to us. So when it comes to, you know, deciding these prices is on the food, inflation, they ain't they ain't studying about us. Nope, not okay. at all. Because we're, diff uh, we're in a no, different class than them. Never. All right, go ahead. Watch this. Drive energy prices as low as they possibly can be on every front that you possibly can manage. And that bloody well includes coal and petroleum and natural gas and then we could add nuclear to that. And if you want to throw renewables in for the tiny percentage that they account for, you could do that too. But because energy is equivalent to work and because it 
Work is equivalent to food and shelter. If you make energy expensive, what you do is you starve the poor. And you don't have to starve them very much before they become desperate and things fall apart. And then we fall into these positive feedback loops that Michael has been describing. And so when you hear these bloody globalist, globalist utopians talk about the necessity for higher energy costs, you remember that that co comes directly at the cost of the world's poor. Christia Freeland, the Deputy Prime Minister of Canada, two weeks ago had the unmitigated and I would say quasi-demonic gall to announce publicly that $8 a gallon gasoline in Canada was actually probably a good thing because Canadians should be reminded nonstop just how severe the climate crisis is every time they fill up their cars. And that's perfectly bloody fine unless you're living on the edge of your economic capability. Stop. And the fact... Remember, we're the ones who are always living on the edge of our economic capability uh, no. because we broke. <laughs> you know we're the poor right. of the earth. All right, so this is talking about us. You know, they ain't going to just come it. out and say that thing right All there. Right. All right, uh, finish that off, please. The fact that you can't afford to fill up your car anymore puts you into unemployment and food deprivation in relationship to your children. And that's in the rich West. And now in Europe, we're so goddamn stupid on our energy <laughs> policy because of these idiot environmental schemes that we've made ourselves pathologically reliant on the Russians. And we're going to bloody well see what that costs us. And I know the Germans are burning coal again because their, their switch, massively expensive and counterproductive switch to so-called renewals has been another catastrophe. And so now God only knows how expensive energy is going to be, become. And that's directly related to the provision of the famines that Michael is talking about. So get ready for this, folks, because it's coming down the pipes. All right, stop. Damn. All right, so it's telling you who's going to get affected first? Us. Uh, that's what you have to understand, Did brothers and sisters, it? and that's why you've seen the prepping team, you know, they're rising up, right. okay, shows like this, you know, the radio shows, we're trying to get the people Ready. abreast and uh, prepared right, right, for what's right. to come. All right, so you got to understand the upper, the elites, he talked about the utopian society, that's what we're talking about, the upper class, the elites, they know exactly what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Don't get it twisted, the whole world is going to feel this hit. But we're gonna feel it worse than them. Right. Okay. So, so understand <laughs> that thing. Right. All right. Let's go to the next article, please. This is RTNews.com. Uh huh. U.S. food banks strain under increased demand. Media. Food banks across the U.S. are struggling as the demand for their services to feed Americans in need soars amid record inflation. Mm -hmm. Fox News reported on Saturday, citing Atlanta Community Food Bank CEO Kyle Wade. All right. Uh, for the sake of time, let's go to the next article. So we see inflation is at an all-time high, record-breaking, actually, right. record-breaking. All right. And as we get to, when we get to topic two, I'm going to show you something about uh, your man's Biden and them. All right. Got something for you. Let's go to the next article, please. Yeah, play that. About this the farmer. Uh, this is, uh, real quick, this is a farmer. Okay. He's speaking about what they are doing. Okay, uh, what, what what country was that? It's in Europe. I think it's du uh, the, uh, the Dutch. Yeah, the Dutch. Dutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're like uh, banning all of the farmers. Right. They're yeah. banning all of the farmers. Damn. Uh, those who herd, you know, cattle, you know, livestock, whatever it is, you know, plant, all of that. They're banning all of them. Right. So the farmers, they they've uh, they're protesting about it. Right. Okay. So this is what one of the farmers said. All right, watch this. Uh, Holland in uh, different regions. Some regions have to lower their emissions by 12%. Some regions have to lower their emissions by 46, 75, or 95%. In the meanwhile, our uh, juridical system is uh, this on this moment that no innovations in agriculture sector are allowed to use. So there are different techniques for uh, lowering your emission, but uh, when you are uh, Ask for a court, and a judge uh, will uh, look into your uh, innovations. They will say you can't use it. So the only reason, the only uh, thing to lower your emissions right now is just cutting your herd back. It's the same movement. Stop. They so they're saying cutting your herd. Animal. Get rid of the, the cattle. You, right. kill the All right, you cattle, have to right. kill them. You get rid of them. Right. So he's saying that's the only solution to stop the emissions. That's all a smoke screen. Right. That's all a smoke screen right there. Uh, they're trying to be crafty. But as we know, according to the scriptures, it's Esau that's going to be responsible for bringing in the end of the world. We know right. that. Yep. And this is what they're doing. All right. Certain things, uh, certain occurrences are happening across the earth. But a lot of this, as we can see, is self-inflicted. A lot of this is self-inflicted. Finish that out, please. And Officer Badai, you had something, right? Yes, sir. All right. Finish that out. 
industries. They want to have a transition to more plant-based food, transition to uh, vegetarians. Uh, they ask for 50% reduction of our national herd. That's probably on this moment the main cause of it all. They just want to uh, reduce the national herd. Well, every farmer all around the world and also uh, every citizen knows that cutting back the herd isn't uh, the cause of, uh, of any problems. You know, we are producing food. Two-thirds of agricultural land on the planet can only be grown by grass. And you need cows like this for making grass into meat or into milk or whatever you want. Whatever problem so he's saying you need the cows in order for, you know, the crops. You need, all, they all need each other to work right, properly. Right, right. All right, finish that out. This uh, pollution uh, on the world you are uh, asking about, whether it's not chemical, but uh, farming is uh, probably a part of the problem, but most of it all, it's uh, part of the solution. There you go. They're trying to blame farmers for the emissions. Right. But wait, wait, wait. So if you tell them to stop farming, if you tell them to stop raising the cattle, what the hell are we going to eat? Right. Right. Exactly. Go ahead, officer. Hey, it's, it's, it's funny how everything is playing according to the scripture. Uh, the prophets see how everything going to go, uh, uh, they, everything going to line up. Like you said, they were created for destruction. That's, that's their purpose. All they do, everything they put their hands on, they destroy. So when you, you, look, when you look how they uh, uh, playing part of the famine, playing part of the, the, the pestilence, mm -hmm. playing part of the war, all these things supposed to occur another for the end of this world to go. Uh, give me Jeremiah chapter uh, 42 and 17. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 42 and verse 17. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, so shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt. So that goes into uh, most of our people. Who do we rely on? We rely on America uh, as, as the Egypt of back then. Okay, that's, that's your Egypt today. Go ahead, read. They shall die by the sword. They will die by the sword. The sword goes into what? Your wars. The wars that you see going on that Christ prophesied about. That Officer David was going over. Read. By the famine. Famine. You see that going on right now. The shelves, the, 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 the farmers, they're telling you what's, what you see is happening. It's unfolded itself slowly. Right. Go ahead. By the pestilence. Pestilence. And we see it going on. All type of uh, uh, disease are growing by numbers. Read. And none of them shall remain. And none of them shall remain. That's showing you what you see here is the, the, the progress to get to the end of the world. And Christ said, when you see all these things going on, mm -hmm. knowing that your salvation is nine. Wow. Very good. Hey, for the sake of time, let's keep it rolling. What's the next article? What we got? What we got? Switzerland will be the first European country to sell insect-based food. You see that? They're selling insect-based food because of what? The food shortages. Right. All right. Now, uh, go back. And who, who's doing this? It's a Switzerland, right? What the hell? Yep. All right, play that. You'll be able to buy insect balls and burgers. <laughs> oh, gosh. Made insect protein, balls. Go ahead. Made from protein-rich mealworm. Insects are a traditional food. Come they are nutritious now, and easy to produce. A big hug. Increased insect consumption could make food production more sustainable. All right, so check this out. Check this out. So when it comes to the Christians, they're going to be like, okay, let's do it. Because according to the Christian church, you know, they say that you could eat any creature. Right, right. Then why the hell? Because when I was growing up, how come ain't nobody eat uh, fried porcupine? Right. Bring it out. Yeah. How come ain't nobody do that? How come ain't nobody? How come when we went fishing, you always threw the blowfish back? Mm -hmm. don't make one why you don't? Why you don't keep that? Why you don't fry up the blowfish? Right. I ain't never understand that. Right. How? Right. How come? Tell tell me this. How come you don't go eat venomous snakes? Right. How come you don't do that? Right. Right. Because it can cause harm to you. Right. Right. That's why. But once again. The Christian's going to fall for this because they're going to say all is uh, blessed in Christ Jesus. It's all sanctified. So they're going to fall for that thing. Give me um, Ezekiel now. To show you what. Our food's already defiled, but they're making it more obvious than right. ever, right? Right. Ezekiel 4 and uh, 13. The book Lord of Ezekiel. Mercy. Chapter 4 and verse 13. Read that. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. You see that thing right there? And think about it. 
they're going to be producing that with other meats. So, you know, right. insects and rodents already get into the food supply. Right. So right. now, already, yep. how I much more? Bigger percentage. Exactly. Right. How much more? Go to the next article. What we got? Oh, that's it for this topic? All right, let's go to topic two. We're ahead of schedule. All praises. <laughs> topic two. All right, is, it, is this one in order? Okay, all praises. Good job, IT. All right, read that. China strikes first. China strikes first. What we got? YahooNews.com. Stacey Abrams says her faith in God guides her abortion rights stand. Right, right. I said we was going to cover something uh, close right. to what we covered in the corner of the week. So right. first it was uh, slavery is the same as not able to get an abortion. Now, right. here comes the Christian church. Okay. Hey, here comes this? Christianity right here. Mm -hmm. This is this is what they're what they're saying. Play the clip, please. There's a video on this, I believe. In the article, actual actual article. I think you scroll, keep scrolling. That may not. Okay, there may not be. Okay, just read it. Read it for me. Read that. Stacey Abrams believes politicians shouldn't interfere with a woman's decision on whether to get an abortion. And her own religious faith has reinforced her pro-abortion rights views. You see that her own religious faith, scroll back up, her own religious faith has reinforced her pro-abortion right views. That ain't in the Bible. So you see this thing right here. The, the Christian church is sick. The Christian church is sick people I'm because sick if you're pro-abortion, you are pro-murder. Right. right. Meaning you're pro-sin. Right. All right. Go back to the uh, article. Abortion is a medical decision. Abrams, Georgia Democratic Group. So they, they, I guess it has nothing to do with the Bible. Wait a minute. It says it's a medical decision. See how they try to differentiate, wow. try to separate? Wow. Well, Go the ahead. the thing I've heard of. Abortion is a medical decision. Abrams, Georgia's Democratic gubernatorial nominee, told Yahoo News in a sit-down interview Sunday in her, homestead, in her home state ahead of a campaign event. It is also a decision that women... Make because they are not ready to be mothers. Wait a second. Wow. What about the decision to remain abstinent? Break it, Break it out. Break it out. Break what it about out. that? What Marry about that? You, you, you say what? Marry before you carry. Marry before you carry. What about that decision? Yeah. Right. So stop fornicating. Stop right. fornicating. <laughs> Keep the law. Better say exactly. What's the one in Sirach fifteen twenty? Talks about uh. What she say? Read that part again. What she said. Read that again. It is also a decision that women make because they are not ready to be mothers. Because they are not ready to be mothers. All right. Uh, read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. He has commanded no man to do wickedly. Come you know? on. Neither hath he given any man license to sin. Right. You don't, you don't get to decide whether or not you want to kill somebody. Uh, no. All right. That's, that's not, not the way this thing goes, but that's the reoccurring thing when it comes to abortion. Right. Now, don't take too long. Y'all had anything? Don't take too long because yeah. we got some more in the Christian church. Yes, yeah. sir. Real Go quick. Ahead. I got Exodus on the 20 and 13. Real quick. All right. Short scripture. All right. To get right to the point. Mm -hmm. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. On read it again. Thou shalt not kill. On God said that. God right. gave that law to us, so right. we probably should follow that. Right. I mean, stop killing your baby. Stop so. killing. Hey, because now we're going to tie these together, man. It's all the same. All of it's the same. But the next clip, all right. Second Ezra seven. Give me Second Ezra seven. Get the next clip ready for me. And I want verse. Uh, no, that meant eight. I'm sorry. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse uh, 55. Watch this. The book of Second Ezra, chapter seven and verse 55. Uh huh. And that the faces of them which have used abstinence. Which have used what? Abstinence. Right. This, this abstinence is going uh, into abstaining from your sin. Yep. Right. All right. So it says the faces of them which use abstinence. And this goes for those young sisters, too. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be a mother don't have sex that's right right because that's what sex brings forth it brings right. forth children okay so if you don't want to be a mother don't have sex because that's called like officer said that's called fornication right. all right and if you're in the midst of fornication then you're tempted what to commit murder it's just one after uh, one after another read that verse again and that the faces of them 
which have used abstinence Come on. shall shine above the stars. They shall shine above the stars, meaning what? They're going to get the paradise. They're going to get the That's kingdom of message. heaven. But if you ain't abstaining from evil, you're going to die to death. Right. Now watch this. This is the Christian church once again. Play this. The Episcopal Church School in New York gives a standing ovation to the drag queen who has been who has been invited to their pride chapel. All right, wait so we read minute. it. We gave wait. the disclaimer, so don't wait. get mad at us. And it is bad, so, but play the clip. Oh, gosh. Her name is Britta Filter, and she is the queen of New York. Oh, hello. What is that? I'm sick of it. Oh. Oh. This is Christian churches. So, I, all right, all right, that's enough. It keeps doing it. So, uh, anybody? Let go. To, let go to the law. Deuteronomy twenty twenty five. Well, that that's yes. Go to it. Talk about the law. Yeah. I just want the viewers out there to know that was a man. That was uh, a man. That was a boy. All right, go ahead. That was a Deuteronomy. boy. Damien. My boy, Damien. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a so man. So a woman also won't post to wear pants pertain to a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither what? Neither shall a man put on a woman's he garment. Said, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. This is a skirt, makeup, wigs, all that he had on. Read. For all that do so uh -huh. are abomination unto the Lord and thy God. That is abomination unto the Most High God. Right. This right. is what your Christian churches is promoting. Right. Abominations yeah. inside the churches. Yep. Hey. hey, give me that in Wisdom of Solomon 14 real quick. Because, bruh, this is uh this is happening right now. Right. right now. This is happening right now. You would I mean, come on, man. Growing up, who would have ever thought they would see never. foolishness like this? I would have right. never right. thought they cared. It's, it's right there in the open, brothers and sisters. Hey, we got to pick our side. We know the truth. You understand? We know we got to keep God's commandments. So let's do that, yes, okay? Sir. Because obviously the world, the world's almost out of here, man. Right. Yep. All right, read that. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 24. Come on. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Mm -hmm. but, but either one slew another traitorously and grieved him by adultery. Come on. So that there reigned in all men without exception blood, mm -hmm. manslaughter, theft, and dissimulation. Hey, we're seeing that. The hatred, you know, for our people, right. uh, standing up for abortion, supporting this drag queen stuff, killing your brother. I'm uh, shooting your brother over some French fries, yep, right? Yep, yep. Go ahead. Corruption, unfaithfulness, uh -huh. tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, Read. forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, uh -huh. changing of kind. What? Changing of kind. That's what it is right there. It's that role reversal. And you're seeing this. This is uh, the age of decadence. We see America on its decline. Right, right. All right, so what you're seeing is a bunch of wickedness released into the earth. Right. This is their last hurrah. All right, so you're going to see it at a all-time high. Yes, I'm officer? Yes, sir. Um, out of fact, I'm in the same chapter, Cap. Read verse 9 for me. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 9. So you can see the mindset of these people who do things that are contrary to God's laws. Read. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. Mm -hmm. So God said to do ungodly things, to be ungodly is hateful to God. So let's see what being ungodly means so we can make sure we clarify what being ungodly is. Give me that in Sirach, chapter 41, verse 8. Let's see what being ungodly is. And, sh and if you have this mindset, you are hateful to God. Ain't no need to call God when you're in trouble and you hurt. Right. You are hateful to God. When you do things outside of what the scriptures say, read that. With the, uh, Sirach, chapter 41 and verse 8. Read. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, read. which have forsaken the law of the Most High. So you are ungodly if you forsake God's laws. Officer Samson just brought up that men should not wear that which pertaining to a woman. The whole church gave a standing ovation to a man walking dressed like a woman. Jeez. So all of y'all were ungodly because y'all participated in it. Right, You're supposed to right. hate what God hates. Right, yep. Hey, right. go to the next uh, article. What we got? What we got? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go watch this because earlier we was talking about uh, the food shortages and uh, inflation, inflation, right? Inflation. And America, like we touched last week, is in the midst of a recession. But Biden 
all right? And his affiliates, they don't want to openly come out and say that to mess with the minds of the people, to keep right. the people asleep. Right. But watch this. This is a press conference with Biden. Watch. We're going to play it all the way through. Watch this. And just last week, as I said, SK Corporation of Republic of Korea announced some $22 billion in new investment in semiconductor batteries, chargers, and medical devices, creating another 16,000 jobs here in America. And this is powering the strongest rebound in American manufacturing in over three decades, creating 613,000, 613,000 manufacturing jobs. Passing the CHIPS bill is going to put another $72 billion for incentives and tax credits to expand. Hey, stop. It's crazy. It is crazy. But, uh, Bishop just brung this out about our reparations. Right, right. Bro, do y'all realize that America, I, what was it? Um, They just gave a few hundred bill, uh, million to Ukraine, putting it over the threshold of, I think, $6 billion or right. something what like the that. Hell? That they given to Ukraine in a span of months. Right. Right. Now he's talking about, oh, we're just going to throw another 72 billion. I'm like, wait a second. Damn. Wait a se money. Where's all this money at? Right. But we can't get none of the money. Right. They tell have. us on the cap to get jobs. Right. 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 All right. right. We're right. not going to no pay y'all for your all right. Right. hundreds right. of right. years of slavery. Hey, only y'all is only good enough to get jobs. Right, bro. And these the same people that our people get mad at us when we say God is going to come back and punish them. God gave a whole book to them, Obadiah, about their destruction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But our people act like we lying when we say God is not with them. You Go back to the, uh, uh, to the clip. Go ahead. Production. And the Inflation Reduction Act will add another $370 billion. 370 billion. Tax Dang. credits Bye. in mm -hmm. reconciliation including incentives to accelerate domestic production of solar panels, wind turbines, batteries, and critical materials processing. That doesn't sound like a recession to me. Thank you very much. So what, he, what he's saying is oh America ain't broke. It right. ain't broke. <laughs> and, hey, hey, but go back, run it back like five seconds. Watch this. That doesn't sound like a recession to me. Thank you very much. Accelerate domestic production you see how he just exited? Yeah. No yeah. questions. Like, right. I'm, taking no I'm not taking no yeah. questions. I said what I said up, to keep the people asleep. Yeah. Uh, First Thessalonians 5. Give me that you know. one. All right. We know this one right here. All right. So what are they doing? They're keeping the people under their spell. Mm. All right. Watch this. Uh, what verse? Three. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety. That doesn't sound like a recession to me. Even though everything is pointing in the direction that America is in a recession. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Then what? Sudden destruction cometh upon Remember them. Remember, the, the International Monetary Fund has already warned of a uh, financial collapse. Right. A world financial collapse. And right. we understand that America is at the head of the IMF. So guess what? That thing is going to happen. Right. But always when it comes to the American people, what do they do? They keep them docile. They keep They're them blind. sleep. Yep. Yep. Right. Exactly. Give me Isaiah 25. I want to read know. this one too. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 25. All right. There's going to come a day when this man, he ain't going to be able to do this no more. You're he ain't going to be able to, uh, to use his witchcraft and his lies and deceit to lie to the people. Uh, give me Isaiah chapter um, 25. 25 and, chapter 25. And verse 7. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7. Come on. And he will destroy in his mountain. This, this mountain, this this, mountain. This mountain is, is going into uh, Babylon, United States of, of America. It says he's going to destroy in this mountain. Read. The face of the covering cast over all people. That's what it is. All of the lie, the seat, the, the uh, making everybody to believe what America's pushing. Because some people, especially our people, right. they're going to listen to Joe Biden and they're going to believe right. that thing, yep. that mm -hmm. false cast that's over the people. Read. And the veil that is spread over all nations. Uh -huh. So God's saying in this, in this day, he's going to destroy all of the lies. Mm -hmm. But that's how America do. America, especially the president and his, his allies or whoever, they always keep the people at bay. They keep them asleep. They'll never tell you exactly what's going on. Because if the people start figuring out what's going on, guess what? 
their seat is threatened even more. They right, want right. don't get it twisted. Esau knows that they're gonna go, they're gonna go out, but they wanna go out with a bang. Right. And they wanna prolong this thing as long as they can. All right, play the next clip. I think it's Joe Rogan. Am I correct? Or is it somebody else? Okay, play play to somebody else. I know Joe Rogan's coming up. Watch this. Y'all got the timestamp, right? All right, play that. The U.S. economy shrank once again in the past three months, unofficially signaling the start of a uh, uh, recession. I mean, that's simply how people define recession. Now, if you look at the data, the gross domestic product of the United States shrank at an annualized rate of 0.9 percent in the past three months after having decreased by an annualized rate. Of what market did you start it at? 30 seconds. All right, continue percent in the previous quarter. So that's two consecutive quarters of decreasing GDP in the United States. That means that the United States, the world's largest economy, has entered a recession. Now, However, by the books, by the facts, yes, that that will be factual. But we know America is the most wealthiest nation. When you read Ezekiel, the 28th chapter, yeah. they got rich by their traffic and do, do the seed and all of that. So we know they got money. But statistically, by the book, America is in a recession right now. Go ahead. High officials in the United States are reassuring us that is not the case. Here's what they said. That doesn't sound like a recession to me. I don't, I do not think the U.S. is currently in a recession. Even if that number is negative, we are not in a recession now. I will say that uh, the textbook definition of recession is not, is not two negative quarters of GDP. The Biden administration. All right. So she said by definition. All right, showing you what they, even though, according to its original definition, America's in a recession. But remember last week, they redefined it. Right. 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 Joe Rogan's next, right? Joe Rogan? Yeah, yeah, play Joe Rogan real quick. Oh, yeah. People would think that it's trivial because they are talking about this economic downturn. But it's not trivial because we've always used that term recession. And we've always used that term to define whether or not the economic policies that are currently in place and whether or not the management and the government has done a good job of making sure that the economy stays in a good place. It's, they definitely haven't done that. So in order to escape that, in, you know, that sort of distinction, they're literally changing the definition, which is terrible. And it should be pushed back against in a big way. It should, it should be something that people get angry about, like, hey— you're fucking with definitions in order to pretend that you're doing a good job. <laughs> so that's America right there. I'm Remember sick of it. when it talks about a woman, they're reclassifying what a woman is. Right. Give me that in Jeremiah 50, man. The the empire of lies. That's the United States of America. First of all, they're lazy, good for nothing tricksters. Hey, um, what was that? Uh, 50 and 35 and 36, too. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 35. Come on. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord. That's going into the Babylonians, which is America. Go ahead. And upon the inhabitants of Babylon. Uh-huh. And upon her princes. And upon her wise men. Read. A sword is upon the liars. The sword is upon the who? The liars. That's what America built its foundation right. off of. Lying. It's going to come a day when that liar is going to be put to day. rest. Right. All right. Understand that thing. So remember, it said China strikes first. That's topic two, right? So let's get into that. Next article. And we, we, uh, we got a few minutes to spare, so we can prolong this. Read what you got. Al Jazeera.com. As Pelosi departs, Taiwan reflects on controversial U.S. visit. Go ahead. So as you know, uh, was it Nancy Pelosi? That's her name, yes. right? Yes, sir. She made a uh, visit over to Taiwan. China, they was, they was like, no, this is, this is not a good move. We know, uh, we no. know what you're trying to do. You don't want us to unite. Right. Okay? You're, you're going to try to... Destabilize like you always do. Right, That's right. what America does. Always in people business. Right. Give me that Habakkuk two. It's either four or five. I think it's five. Okay, not keepers at home. Okay, that's what America does. I right, read that. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, mm -hmm. but the just shall live by faith. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine. Right by lies and deceit. Come on. He is a proud man. He's a proud man. That's Esau. You read that in the book Obadiah. Right. All right. He's a proud man. Very proud nation. Go ahead. Neither keepeth at home. Neither keepeth at home. And his pride is what's going to get him destroyed. Right. Going to get him killed. 
All right, it says neither keep us at home. China, China said, hey, you come over here, it's going to be war. Right. China gave the warning. They've been posting that all. We got a call? Okay, we'll take a caller. Hey, hey, Shalom, caller, what's your question or your comment? Hey, Shalom, caller, what's your question or your comment? Hey, that's Shalom, caller. Can you hear us? All right, go ahead, hang up. Let's go back. Let's go back to the script. Read that again. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 5. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Neither keepeth at home. All right, so read some of this article, please. Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, has left Taiwan after concluding a whirlwind visit that rocked U.S.-China relations and sent shutters through global markets. Mm -hmm. In response to Pelosi's visit, China, China announced live-fire military exercises across six zones in waters surrounding the island of Taiwan that will start on Thursday and continue through Sunday. Right. So they already said what time it was. So you come over here, you're going to start something. Just like America's prideful, uh, give me the one in Jeremiah 48 about Moab. Right. Moab's prideful, too, because they want to be just like America, like right. you say in 2nd Ezra, right? Uh, 48 and 29. Read that. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 48, verse 29. Come on. We have heard the pride of Moab. There you go, the pride of Moab, following after America. Go ahead. He is exceeding proud. Mm -hmm. His loftiness and his arrogancy and his pride and the haughtiness of his heart. And the haughtiness of his heart. Those are the same characteristics that America uh, uh, has as well. Right. Encompasses. Right. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, go to the next article, please. Or the video, whichever's next. I don't know. I'm not really in a position to uh, talk about what their motivation was, but it does reflect the line that uh, I've mentioned uh, regarding Ukraine, and I have no doubt about it. This is, yet again, um, their desire to prove that they are immune and that they have free reign. They there you go. Can do whatever That's America. That's their pride. Even though China's like, nah, don't come over here. It's not a good idea. War is going to break out. They're like, we're America. We can do whatever we want to do. And that's what they've been doing for, for hundreds of years. That's what they've been doing. And that's exactly what's going to get them destroyed. Right. Uh, let's go to the next, next clip. I might skip a few for the sake of time. But let me see what's next. Uh, nope, I don't want that. I don't want the video either. Go, to, go next. Okay, play that. Chinese warships, are Chinese warships are taking up positions around Taiwan ahead of four days of live fire exercises. Because remember, Beijing remember, America wants Taiwan to be uh, be allies with them. Right. All right. China's like, no, we're they're going to join with us. Uh, no. So China doesn't want America interference. So China, they're already taking position. Yeah, they're ready for exhausted. war right now. We got a call again. I right, will take a quick call. All right. Hey, Shalom, caller. What's your question or your comment? Okay, they hung up, right? Hung up. All right. Hey, go to the next one. Go to the next uh, video or article. All right, here's actual clips. This is actual footage of them uh, striking all right, from China into regions of Taiwan right here. Watch this. China is playing no games right now. This is going on on the earth present day, right now. You better read your Bible. Oh, they're getting it in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Lord have mercy. So China, they're showing they're not playing. They're not playing no games right now. All right, what's next? You're going to learn today. All right, play this. Tensions are ratcheting up between the United States and China. The crisis stems from Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taipei. Pelosi is the U.S. House Speaker. She, she's also the third in line to the president. Pelosi is now the highest ranking U.S. official to visit Taiwan since 1997. China has harshly criticized the visit. We got a call? All right. Hey, hey Shalom, call it. What's your question or your comment? IT, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? <laughs> shalom, 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 call it. What's your question or your comment? All right, all right. Can, can you hear me? 
Shalom, call it. What's your question or your yeah. comment? Hey, call it. Go ahead. Can you hear us, call it? Can you hear us? Yeah, I want to talk about um, what y'all call precept. Call what? What do y'all, I'm talking about what y'all be calling precept. We don't consider that precept, bro. Oh, gosh. Another one? Who is, come on now. All right. Who, who are you, bro? Who are you? Who you well, with? If you ask that we can call in, we got a question that we should begin to. You probably got another call, man. We don't. I'm back to the question I asked you. What is the question? You didn't ask a question. I said, what, I want to talk about what y'all call pre sale Those are not pre sale Hey, who made oh, this? Okay. All right, so, so why why won't you why won't you like come to a school or something like that, bro? Right. We we talking about China, we talking about World War Three. Right. We about you know death is coming. Why don't you talk about salvation for your people? Why are you trying to argue with your That's brother? Right, right. What's up well, with that, bro? Hey, you you gotta, just, gotta, I'm just gotta, saying, bro. Hey, as as we see the as calling. we see the all on, right, bro, bro. bro. As we see the day approaching, bro. Now check it out. I ain't I'm not I ain't mad at you or nothing like that. But as we see the day approaching, bro. Is that is that you could have been answering the question, oh, no, bro. bro? Bro, why you cut me off? Cut this off. is this is my platform. You call me, remember that. This is my platform. I answer how hey, I please. All right, hang up on him, bro. Hang up on him, bro. Goodness gracious, our people crazy, man. All right, um, Nigga, please. yeah, 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 yeah. Go back, bro. We try, we try, we trying to give our people the hey, warning. The it's better arguing about precepts. Come on, bro. Say to come, quick, come on now. Dog. All right, go back, Mark. man. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even feel like dealing. I was like, bro, we, right. we talking about some serious. I'm not, well, I'm not having time for that, bro. Right. All right, go back, bro. It says the U.S. is playing with fire over Taiwan. I want to make sure that the U.S. is playing with fire over Taiwan. It says the U.S. is playing with fire over Taiwan. All right, stop. Y'all got to gotta translate, man. But um, as you can see, China... China's playing no games. You also have uh, Afghanistan, too. Yep. Because, hey, go to the clip, the article I had on standby. Go to the article I had on standby. Get that ready? All right, go to the last article when it talks about the dest destabilization first. And then I want the one I had on standby, please. Okay? Yeah, re read that. Watch this. AlJazeera.com. Russia accuses U.S. of destabilization mm -hmm. over Pelosi Taiwan trip. Right, and that's exactly what they went over there for. Okay, they don't want anybody to gang up and with enough allies to overthrow America. Right. All right, go back to the article. A spokeswoman for Russia's foreign ministry has accused Washington of destabilizing the world amid amid reports. U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi is set to visit Taiwan despite vociferous op opposition from uh, Beijing. While there have been no official announcements, several Taiwanese media outlets reported late on Monday, citing un unnamed sources that Pelosi would arrive in Taiwan on Tuesday. Now, you know, America can say what they want to say, but we all know their true agenda. We all know the true agenda, just like um, I read in the news this week. I didn't put it in there because, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't as serious. Actually, it is. It ties in perfect with this. Uh, NATO is expanding once again. NATO is expanding once again, um, and even amidst the threat of Russia saying, yep. if you expand either, even further, it's going to be on. Right. So America, they're just walking around being the bully, right. the yeah, hammer, bully. <laughs> instead uh, of the earth, are expanding NATO, going to Taiwan to destabilize right. over there. You know, they just think they could do whatever they want. Right. Now, go, Debo. Exactly, Debo. that's what they do. That's it. Hey, go to the I'm one about out. Afghanistan be Afghanistan because of uh, the official that uh, Biden had uh, killed. Right. I think it's like by a drone, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, by the drone. Um, give me the next one. I had two on standby. Yeah, yeah, read that. Newsbreak.com. State, Depart State Department warns of danger to Americans after strike on terror leaders. Mm -hmm. The State Department has warned Americans traveling abroad that they could face retaliation and violence in the wake of U.S. drone strike that killed al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri. Absolutely. You know, it's also crazy. A lot of them are here right now. Right. right. You understand? A lot of them are here right now. We, yeah, give me that, the caterpillars, man. Right. Give me that real quick. That's the setup, bro. But that's the dope. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 6 first, then give me the caterpillars, man. All right? Because America thinks that they could continue to do this across across the world. No, it's eventually going to catch up to America. Read That's that for right. me. 
Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 6. Come on. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Come on. It and says, shall not all these, all these nations that America keeps violating and keeps destabilizing and keeps murdering. Right. You yep. understand? Read exactly. that again. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Uh-huh. And a taunting proverb against him? This is the parable. Here's the taunt. Um, Jeremiah 51 and verse 14. All right. Start at uh, 13. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 13. Come on. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. That's America. That's the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Go ahead. Abundant in treasures. Uh-huh. Thine end is come. Thy end is come. All right. They bring it forth their right. own end. Come on. And the measure of thy covetousness. And the measure of thy covetousness. Because all they want to do, they want to take rob from go. every nation yep. upon the earth. Go ahead. Right. The Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men. With men, those as, uh, those Arab nations. Message. Go ahead. As with caterpillars. As with caterpillars, because what do they do? They destroy from the inside right. out. Right. That's yeah. the characteristic of a caterpillar. Caterpillar, go ahead. And they shall lift up a shout against thee. They shall do what? Lift up a shout against thee. They shall lift up the shout against thee. Why? Because you keep killing. Yes, you sir. keep being a bully on the earth. Right. All right, go back to Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 6. Come on. Shall not all these take up a parable against him mm -hmm. and a taunting proverb against him? Come on. And say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. China's like, hey, bro, stay over there. Right. This is us over here. We the same people. Country, right. You coming right. over here? Nah, this is not you. Exactly. But they're going to come together and them bombs is going to come over here, That's man. Right. Right. Hey, let's go to topic three. Let's go to topic three for the second time, man. Topic three. What we got? What we got? World War Three is imminent. Yes, it is. All right, play the first one. What we got? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this thing right here is crazy. It's, it's, it's common sense, but it's just to show you like we read, read earlier in Isaiah 25, the cast that's over the people. But remember, when you go outside of the Western world, it's a different world over there. It's right, a different right. mindset. Okay. They what don't follow America. No, Not everybody. Right. Uh, no. Some people, some nations do, but major majority of the people that live lives like what we're about to see here, they don't follow after America. Right. Okay. All right, watch this. Play this clip. African gender tribe identity. asked about gender yes, identity. Yes, woman. Run it back. And decides that his, his gender identity is his woman. A woman has its own duty, and a man has its own duty. And a lady cannot do the duty of a man, and a man cannot do a duty of a woman. Wrong. Can a man become a woman? No. No. Uh, what about no. transgender? Okay. Transgender? He know what he's no. talking about. No. It look like to, if you want to become a lady but you're a man, you have something wrong something in your mind. There you something go. Wrong. That's something right. Wrong. Something, right. something wrong in you. What about if someone was non-binary? Come again? Non-binary? He don't know what that is. You know, but non. It's someone is is. Uh, you're not a woman. You're not a man. Yeah. Someone's like. Someone is, is neither. There's something else. Is that? He's saying we have never seen things like those. For a man, he has a penis. For a woman, he has a vagina. So we know this is a lady. This is a man. What if it's a woman with? What if it's a woman with a penis? What? What? There you go, bro. <laughs> what is what going? On? Bro, that's oh, and that's how it is, bro. With all of these different. Uh, what is it called? Pronouns. Yeah, and yeah. All of that. It's just confusion, man. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 3 real quick. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 3. Um, did we see a pronoun with a spirit or spirit walks or something like that? Uh, what's that pronoun that you said? Two spirit. Two spirit? Two spirit. Yeah. Two nah, spirit. I don't know about that. He put it in the group. Damn. Earlier this week. It's like it's a pronoun of two spirits. I don't know that one, uh, Chuck. Wow. All right, play, uh, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 3. Go ahead. Therefore... Shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, mm -hmm. and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion? Right, right, because this is the new, this is the spiritual Egypt right, right. here. That's right. It's it's confusion here, man. Play the next, play the next video, man. Teacher says she asked students for their pronouns and which pronouns she can use for parents. A kid can be trans or non-binary at school, and parents won't be notified. Play the, oh, the, play the clip. It's confusion, bro. Happy Pride Month, friends. I've always considered wait, wait. to be... Wait, wait. Is it, is it Pride? I don't know. Oh, I no. didn't even know there was a such thing as Pride Month. 
and it just seems like it's year round for some reason. What the hell is this? <laughs> it it seems like it's always Long, going, yeah, it's always going on. Go ahead. Huh? They, give, they give you a short uh, February for black, so called blacks. Right. You know, uh, uh, time for us to remember who we are, which is not even accurate. And then for a foolishness like this, that thing extended, it seems like every time. Mm -hmm. You think it's this month, next thing you know, From it's From March the to month. January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Actually, skip this one for the sake of time. See, we got limited time. Uh, yeah, play this one. Talk about these very young kids getting gender-affirming care. What they don't tell you what that is, is they're actually giving very young girls mis double mastectomies. They want to castrate these young boys. Wait That's a minute. Wrong. And so we've stood up and said, both from the health and children well-being perspective, you know, you don't disfigure 10, 12, 13-year-old kids uh, based on gender dysphoria. 80% of it resolves anyways by the time they get older. So why would you be doing this? I think these doctors need to get sued for what's happening. I'm sorry. All right, so Dan DeSantis says something good. Hey, yeah. Yeah. But nah, but it's showing you, bro, they're attacking the youth, the right. little ones. All right, hey, we actually got, you know, we could just finish, finish the topic, then we'll end it. Uh, we got a little bit more time tonight. So go, uh, let's go to the next, next clip. What we got, what we got? Yeah, play this one, bro. This one's outrageous as well. Gametes, that's what makes me male. No, your, your sperm don't make you male. Then what does? It's a constellation. In reality, oh, in truth, okay? Whose truth are we talking about? The what same the truth hell? that says we're sitting in this room right now, you and I. No. You're not listening. If I if I see a chicken laying eggs and I say that's a female chicken laying eggs, did I assign female or am I just observing a physical reality that's happening in the world? Does a chicken have gender identity? Does a chicken yes. cry? Yes, well, Does chi a chicken come? <sighs> Let's Does frame it because you're talking. You're trying. Yeah, a chicken to... has sex like any like any a biological chicken has organism. An assigned gender, but a chicken doesn't have a gender identity. So we assign female to chickens when they lay eggs. That's a, we that's... assume they're female if they lay eggs. Bruh, wow. bruh, wow. you was, oh my, hey, I, I, let me give it back to y'all, man, I've been talking, man, what you got on that, man? How could you possibly love white people so much? <laughs> I'll true. get a preset. Go ahead, go uh, ahead. Let me get oh um, God, Job, man. Job chapter 30. Um, they, these type of people, that's why the Bible, Job say, you wouldn't want to even leave them with your dogs. Right, right. <laughs> Bring it out. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me get that. Start at verse Just, 1, and then we'll jump down. Job chapter 30 and verse 1. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I, I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. You see that? Job said I wouldn't even let these people with my dogs. Right. Uh, no. Go ahead. Yea, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished. For want and famine, they were solitary, Fleeing into the wilderness and form a time desolate and waste. You see that, that that's telling you about the so-called white people right there, because they they were living in the wilderness in the Caucasus Mountain. He's gonna tell you that we don't. Who cut up mallows by the bushes mm -hmm. and juniper roots for their meat? They were driven forth from among men. You they, see, they were driven off from among men because they were not civilized. Right. They're the type of people that used to live their clothes till they deteriorate on them. Right. They don't yeah. shower. I, I'm, I'm, Telling you, Man, this is them. Read. They it cried out. after them as after a thief mm -hmm. to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys in caves of the earth. Himself, uh, Caucasian. Bring Come it from out. the Caucasus Mountain. Right. Read. Right. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys mm -hmm. and in caves of the earth and in the rocks. That's why you call them cavemen. Cavemen have no uh, understanding of society. You wonder why she would say something stupid like this? God created men and women the man have his purpose and the woman have her purpose right. but this crazy people these crazy people can come and say well it doesn't matter there is no such thing as men there's no such thing as women oh, that's foolishness wild. foolishness yes yeah, some officer yes yeah, so real quick let me get job 9 and 24 the, you know? uh, the backup officer all right because this planet on this earth all right through our sins and and uh, all right, on sins of our people, all right, it was given over to some wicked, uh, wicked people. Read that. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. I was about to cuss. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, go ahead. <laughs> the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, and who is the wicked on the Esau? This white man is going to, 
going to do all type of abominations, man. Right. All right, he's going to on the go off into the abyss, and on we're only seeing the beginning. Go ahead, Cap. Yeah, yeah, we only seeing uh, the beginning. Uh, troubles on the earth, confusion in every place. Was that Second Ezra five? Right. It's, 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 we're just we're at the uh, at the tip of the iceberg right, right here in Jacob's right. trouble. Yep. Uh, let's go to the next article, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pl play this. I like this one right here. This is some good news right here. Right. Watch this. And our final story for this evening is about time. Time dictates our lives. And our final story for this evening is about time. Time dictates our lives. When we wake up, when we go to work, when we return, we accommodate our day-to-day -day activities within the 24 hours we have. And it often feels like our days are getting shorter. Well, guess what? They are. Some of our days do not have a full 24 hours. Something unusual happened on the 29th of July. The Earth completed its rotation in less than 24 hours. All praises to the Most High. Today our world is spinning faster than usual. How will this change in the Earth's speed change our lives? Let's find out. Something unusual happened on the 29th of July. Our Earth completed its rotation before time. 24 hours is what it ideally takes. Hence, every 24 hours, the clock resets itself and every 24 hours, it is a new day. But on the 29th of July, the Earth took 1.59 milliseconds less to rotate on its axis. The day ended before time. It was a short day, but not the shortest on record. On the 19th of July 2020, the Earth completed its rotation 1.47 milliseconds before time. So, this has been happening for some time. The Earth is spinning faster than usual. Obvious question is why? Because Scientists there's a God. That's yes. why. Right. Right. That's right. why. Right. All praise to the most right. high God. Right. Right. He's showing our he's showing his love to us. Give me that in Matthew Jesus 24, Christ, man. Christ. Give me Matthew 24, man. 22. All praise. That's a beautiful thing That's right it. there. Science, they're trying to figure it out. They can't. You better say it. Because you have to understand all all give me was it Baruch 6 and 60? Give me Baruch chapter 6, verse 60. Off the top right there. I'm pretty sure that's it though. Uh read that for me. Then give me Matthew uh, 24 and 22. The book of Baruch, chapter 6 and verse 60. Come on. For sun. Moon and stars being bright and sent to do their offices are obedient. They are obedient to who? To man? No, they are obedient to its creator. Right. That's, that's, that's right. God. So, you know, they're going to try to figure that thing out. You know, they, they, you can't put no sense to that because God orchestrates, he controls all of this. Exactly. Right. <laughs> all right, Matthew and 24 right. and 22. So this is a beautiful thing right here. We know what? We're living in the last days. Why do you right. think we go over the famines, the pestilence, the uh, the uh, homosexual agenda, right. the the wars and rumors. We go over this every week to show you this is happening exactly as Christ explained to us in Matthew twenty four. Right. right, and as we see these days approaching, bro, we we gotta we also gotta increase in our righteousness. We gotta right. go to an all time That's high, right. a new level, That's right. because he's he's saying, hey, I'm about to speed this thing up. Even more yeah, yep. for y'all. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, right. even the scientists say, hey, something is going on. The Bible is taking place. Prophecy is being fulfilled. That's right? right. So all You're praises. Learn today. Read that for me, Matthew 24 and 22. Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. Watch this. And except those days should be shortened, mm -hmm. there should no flesh be saved. Meaning what? It's going to get so wicked. I believe one of the officers bring that thing out earlier. It's going to get so wicked that... You know, if it wasn't for the Most High's mercy, we would all be as Sodom, like right. Saint Isaiah, yep. what one and nine, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. All right, it's, it's gonna get that bad. He's got to speed up the time because a lot of us won't make it. Right. Isaiah fifty-seven and one has to take place because of it's so, it's so evil out here. All right, he's showing his love to us. He's speeding up the time. All right, um, and we have to pray for it too. Uh, give me the other one. I think it's Second Ezra two. All right, Second Ezra chapter two. All right, we got to continue to pray that the Most High speed up the time for us. All right, so we can get out of this God forsaken place and go home. Yes, 2 and 13, read that. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 2 and verse 13. Come on. Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you. You see that? The Bible commands us to pray for a few days. Come on. That they may be shortened. 
That they may be what? That they may be short. God is answering our prayers. So let's, hey, let's do this thing in unity, just like when we right. was in Egypt. Remember that? We was in Egypt. The Lord heard our prayers. Yes, That's right. The yep. Lord heard our Many prayers. Said. So we got to make sure we sending up these prayers. We got to pray for prayers, the right bro. things. Don't ask amiss for things that don't matter. Right. That's right. And for things that you don't believe in, increase your faith. You understand? We got to truly believe this because we've seen it's coming to pass. Right. All right? So I'll praise to the most side. That was some good news right there. Oh, right. praise. Yes, praise. Um, yes chime, on, chime in on that. Y'all ready to keep going? Yes, yeah, I'm off. Go ahead, go ahead. Because um, we got to put our faith, like you said, kept back in the Most High God. That's who gonna s deliver us from the hands of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So give me um Psalms 37 and 40, mm -hmm. because we we must come back to the laws and statutes and commandments. For the Most High God can can hear our prayers. <laughs> and you know that's right. The Book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 40. Watch this. And the Lord shall help them. Uh huh. Told and the Most High God, He gonna help us. Read. And deliver them. Mm -hmm. He shall deliver them from the wicked. You see that thing right there? He going to deliver us from this wicked and perverted world. That's why the most high God speeding up the time. Right. For we can get ourselves together. Read. And save them. And do what? And save them. That's going to save us. Why? Because they trust in him. Because we trust in him. That was it on that? Yes, sir. That was it on that. We got to come back to the laws and statue of the most high God. For the most high God can um, save us from the wicked world. And for we can put our trust back in him. Right. Exactly. That's right. All praise. All right, let's get into it, man. Let's close out. What's the next uh, article? It says uh, nuclear annihilation. What you got? Al Jazeera.com. Wor world one misstep from nuclear annihilation. UN chief. Mm -hmm. So it says uh, the world is one bad move away for, from nuclear annihilation. That's good news right there. That's good news. That's good news. Yeah, All right, play that. Nuclear threats emanating from the war in Ukraine, as well as in Asia and the Middle East, have put the world one miscalculation away from nuclear annihilation, the United Nations Secretary General said. At the UN on Monday, Antonio Gutierrez issued the dire warning at the opening of a long-delayed meeting to review the landmark 50-year-old non-proliferation treaty. Hey, I just got to say this, and that's why we didn't really get into it with that brother. Bro, we, the, the, the world is one yeah, yeah. bad move away from nuclear right, annihilation, and, and he's trying to argue about right. precepts. Right, exactly. Study the precepts. They no give way, you right. understanding, brother. Right. Right. For precept must be upon precept. Law right. upon law, line upon line, line upon line. It's just, that's what it is. We get law, understanding by mercy. God's laws, the that's precepts, right. bro. Get so what is it? If you don't agree, to hell with you. We don't give a damn. Right. Does it make a difference? No. Uh, no. Because at the end of the day, bro, you got to answer for the Lord yourself. And guess what he's going to judge you off of? Whether or not you kept his precepts, my right. brother. That's right. That's what it's about. Don't that's all. No that's, that's what it's all about, bro. That's why we're not arguing with our people, man. That's right. The earth is one bad move away from nuclear annihilation. So we ain't, we ain't arguing about the stupid stuff, all right? Message. All right, what's the next article? What you got? Newsbreak.com. A third nuclear age is upon us. Come on. That's what is that called? World War World Three. Three. Right. Okay, go ahead. On the brink. That's how we tend to think of humanity's pred predicament during the most dangerous moment of the nuclear era. Mm -hmm. But as Thomas Schelling, the godfather of nuclear strategy, once pointed out, the phrase is misleading. The nuclear frontier is not the, sh the sharp edge of a cliff where one can stand firmly. Look down and decide whether or not to plunge, he wrote, but rather a curved slope that one can stand on with some risk of slipping. The slope getting steeper and riskier as one moves toward the chasm. Now the slope is getting steeper before our eyes. Right, because that all, it's not just America who holds the monopoly to nuclear weapons anymore. Right. Oh, everybody right. and their mama got nuclear weapons. Everybody. Iran right. saying they trying to scramble to build right. the nuclear right. weapons. And we know once Iran get that capability, it's yeah, on and popping. Oh, right. We already know. Yeah, they got the capability. They just got to make them. Right. 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 You feel what I'm saying? And it's, it's on and popping, man. Um, let's, let's read that. Um, and 2nd Ezra 15 real quick because we got some time. All right, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 in verse 29. Read that. Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 29. Come on. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Uh -huh. This is, this is uh, the Arabs, man. They're going to remember their nature. Everybody's going to be scared when the Arabs unite. Go ahead. 
Also, the Carmanians. The Iranians, all right? They they say they got the capability, and they're ready. They're getting to work. Right. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I think we got, yeah, I got one of those articles about that. Go ahead. Raging in wrath. Raging in wrath. Shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Mm -hmm. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Right. That's Amalek. Those are your so-called Jews, all right, today that's in the land. Right. All right. It says they're going to waste a portion of Amalek. All right. So when, when, they, when they get that capability, when it's all said and done, when they have them, that's, it's a wrap. It's that's over. what the Bible's saying because they're going to use them. They ain't going to talk. There ain't going to be no Cold War. Right. They're going to use them things. That's right? why Esau trying to stop them from getting them. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, what you got? What's next? What's the next article? All right, this is North Korea. North Korea. Read that. North Korea. If urged, we are ready to use all our nuclear force against the U.S. They've been, they been, lick, <laughs> they been licking their chops ready. Better say it. All right, yeah, we're going to need to translate on this. All right, play that. Armed forces are and our state's nuclear war deterrence is also fully ready to mobilize its absolute strength. Faithfully, accurately, gotta pause it. Gotta pause it as hey, turn the volume down on the video. We can't understand what he's saying anyway. Let uh, uh, Soldier Giants read it. Faithfully, accurately, and promptly. The Duplex Act of the United States, which is misleading all the routine actions on our armed forces as a provocation and threat, while holding large-scale joint military exercises that seriously threaten our security. Y'all want to go ahead? Play. It's literally a robbery. All right, so for the sake of time, that didn't go too smooth, but uh, what are we saying? The nations are upset. The nations right, are right. angry. You know, North Korea, they've been talking to us for a long time. They ready to get it popping. They ready. All right, what else we got? Iran, right? I want to, yeah, let's talk about Iran. Read that. Newsbreak.com. Iran threatens to rapidly build nuclear warheads capable of turning New York into hellish ruins Damn. if the U.S. makes any stupid Damn. mistakes. Any bad steps. Any, any bad any steps. Bad. They are waiting Brothers and sisters, once again, we are closer than you can imagine. We are closer than you can imagine. It tell you World War III pop off as soon as Iran makes his move. Right. They they want to. Right. Brothers and sisters, you know we may have a, a preconceived thought of how long we think we have or how yeah. long it's really gonna play. Right. We just found out, in fact, that even science sees that the Earth is speeding up. It's right. right. You understand? We jet, we see that Iran. Yes, America, please, please do it, do it, do it. Amer All of these nations are asking China. Hey, go ahead, do that. We ready. Everybody's ready. They're ready for Armageddon. Right. right. Okay. Right. Let's read that. Let's read that. Uh, it's Revelation 16 and 14. Let's read some of that. They are ready for Armageddon. So, brothers and sisters, let's get our minds right. That's right. This is your place for end times news. You better read your Bible. All right. To to show you the writings on the wall. Okay, show you the writings on the wall for what's coming. That's right. That's right. When the writings on the wall, guess what? When it, when it came, Babylon's empire was done. It was over. Mm -hmm. It was done. Right. So we telling you right now, once again, Babylon's empire is over. That's, That's right. right. The only the difference, wall. the only difference, there ain't gonna be, you know, another rule, ruling class like normal. It's gonna right. be. It's going to be a supreme ruling class right. Right. with the Israelites. That's right. And it's not going to be this Bring this this worldly kingdom. It's going to be a heavenly kingdom. Mm. That's going to, right. Well, the kingdom is going to be on <laughs> earth, that's right. you know, that's but right. it's going to be like something we can never imagine. We read that's that right. earlier in uh, in the first John breakdown. Right. Okay. It's, it's, it's going to be like something we can never imagine. All right. The paradise, the blessings that the Most High has waiting for us. Mm. We ain't ready for that thing yet. So That's let's right. let's do this. Let's continue to abide by these commandments right, right. Mm -hmm. so we can walk into that blessing, all right, right. that reward that's waiting on us. That's right. All right, let's go ahead. Revelation chapter 16, verse 14. Watch this. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles. That's what it is. This this man, this evil man that has dominion over the world, they're the spirits of devils right. because they allow Satan to rule over them. Mm. Understand this through all of their military might, the right brothers coming to the quote-unquote knowledge on how to fly the space for right. no 
They didn't come up with that by themselves. That was of the devil. Right. No. Understand that thing, man. Okay, read it again. For they are the spirits of devils. Come on. Working miracles. Working miracles in the sight of men with their military might, their nuclear weaponry. Go ahead. Which go forth unto the kings of the earth. Which go forth to all the nations. Remember, they're not keepers at home. All right? What are they trying to do? They're trying to destabilize nations, keep them at bay from rising up against them. Right. Go ahead. And of the whole world. And of the whole world. Read. To gather them to the battle of that great day. That's what they're doing. All of these nations, they getting ready. ready. Yeah, exactly. That's right. They are ready for that day because it's almost here. Read on. Of God Almighty. Of what? God Almighty. Of God Almighty, the return, the great return. This is Armageddon right here. Go ahead. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garments. There you go. It say, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. What is that talking about? That's talking about what? Make sure we stay pure. Make That's sure we right. stay clean right. away from sin. Right. All right? Because we see it's coming. It can happen very soon. Sooner than you think, brothers right. and sisters. So we got to keep our garments clean. Meaning what? We got to purge ourselves away from sin. Come on. Lest he walk naked. Uh-huh. And they see his shame. And they see our sin. All right? So we got to stay in the spirit. Let's go on, man. I know we got a little bit more. Uh, let's go to the next article. NewYorkPost.com. Come on. AI program predicts what last selfies on Earth will look like. Yeah, so artificial intelligence, it predicts <laughs> what the <laughs> selfies. Hey, if you seen what, don't look up, right? That's right. kind of what this is. Because right. he was the last one that survived. He's like, hey, I was the last person on Earth. Boom, boom, boom. But, hey, play that clip, please. Play the video. Artificial intelligence predicts this is what the last... Uh, selfies are going to look like. Play that. Wait a minute. Damn. Horrifying AI-generated depiction of what the last selfies taken on Earth may look like have been blowing up on TikTok. Though many in the This looks just like employees be like, you're still coming in though, right? You see that? So, <laughs> hey, so understand this. Esau know what time it is, man. Right. It, it's just Jake. That Jake has no clue. Right. All right. So Lord, let's let's get it together, man. I'm going to end it on that point. Officer, you have something? You look like yeah, you want to bring yeah, something man. out. I got one precept. One go ahead. Precept. Go ahead. Bring that up. Let me get Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Uh, just so you can see what you see is happening before your eyes, it's all by design. The most side is right. a mastermind That's right. when it comes to uh, design things exactly how it wants it to be. Yep. What Better you see it. going on with all the wars, the, the nuclear uh, uh, threats and all these things, mm -hmm. read that for me. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith. That bloweth the coals in the fire. A smith is those that uh, make um, weapons, mm -hmm. okay? They usually took an iron and beat it down until they create a weapon. It says, I have created a smith, read. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. You see that? That bringeth forth an instrument for his work. What kind of, what kind of instrument? It's going to tell you. Read on. And I have created the waster to destroy. You see that? I have created the waster Meaning, this is not a small weapon that's going to do a small impact. This is something that can make a huge impact where it could destroy a uh, uh, majority of people that are on, upon the face of the earth. Right. That's, that's all I got. That's all you had? That's all you got? Yeah, somebody else had something? Yeah, I'll sir. give you a chance to get some points. Yes, yeah, sir. Real quick, on give me Revelation 18 and 4. 18 and 4. All right, I don't know what cap went over, what the officer just went over. Hey, man, it's high time to come out of our ways That's right. on these ways of Babylon, the great America. Read that real quick. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. <laughs> and I heard another voice from heaven uh -huh. saying, uh -huh. come out of her, my people, Read. that ye be not partakers of her sins. So that you um, be not partakers of this world's sins, on um, um, this country's sin. All right. And we see that all the nations are gearing up on um, the trying to get ready to destroy this place. And they ready to go at America. All right, on we can't get caught up in there. All right, if you foolish enough, hey, on the partake in these ways, on the same way you read. And that ye receive not of her plagues. So the plagues is coming. The plagues is already on the way. 
All right, it's only going to take an hour on for this place to be destroyed. All right, if you get caught up on that, Jeez. hey, on the, don't say that you ain't never here. Right. Y'all from Rains on the Wall. Y'all right. go ahead. Hey, let, me, let me get um, 2 Peter 3 and 10, 9. Since we talked about it earlier, I just want to make sure for those who never read this scripture, y'all understand. God is asking y'all, as y'all hear these prophecies happening and you're watching them happen right before your eyes, what are you going to do? Read that. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. So God said he, he promised us that the end of the world was going to happen by fire, not by water this time. And it was going to happen when the earth was full of wickedness. Right now, when you look in the earth right now, like we've been warning you every week, it's a bunch of wickedness going on the earth that right. goes contrary to the Bible. Read. But is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. He said that all should come with, with repentance. Repentance is repenting of your sins. Sin is breaking the laws of this Bible. Read that part again on verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Meaning you're not going to get a warning. This is the best warning you can get right here. We're telling you the things are happening and the end is coming. Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What can cause that? Nuclear fire. Right. ICBM missiles. That's what can cause elements to melt. Read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right, we'll take a quick call. They passed through? All right, Shalom Caller, what's your question or your comment? Hi, I just wanted him to read Obadiah 7. I'm sorry, I need to lower your... Say what now, sis? I just wanted him to read um, Obadiah 7. Oh, you want to hear Obadiah 1 and 7? Okay, all right. Obadiah all right. 7 down to 10. I mean, down to 10, yes. Okay. All right, we got another caller? Oh, you. all right. We'll call back, caller. All right, no, Shalom, no, no. sis. Obadiah 7, uh, no, we're going to read it, sis. We're going to read it. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, sis. All right, Shalom. The book of Obadiah, verse 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord? Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau and, they, and, the, and thy mighty men? O Teman shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. I see why you wanted to read it, sis. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, you know, it's always good to hear there'll be no more Edomites. Right. That's, that's you know, true. that's that uh, white on white crime right there, uh -huh. man. When right. the EU turns on uh, uh, on America, man. I mean, the the NATO turns on America, man. It's gonna be a beautiful thing that's right there. That's <laughs> All praise to the Most right. High. Hey, uh, let's leave with this script right here. Uh, First Thessalonians five one and two. All right. So, all praise to the most high. An excellent show, brothers. You did an excellent job. Um, covered a lot. Caught up, covered a lot of different things. But, hey, we in the midst of it right now. So, let's encourage uh, each other. Now is not the time to be uh, holding grudges, you right, know. Right. Right. Bitter and all of that stuff. Now is not the time for that. Now is the time to get ourselves right. Yes. And, I, and, I, and I want, you know, just to give you a heads up. You know, as we see the day approaching, understand your temptations, they're going to increase too. Yes, sir. You got something? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Shalom, uh, call it. What's your question or your comment? Yes, Shalom, Shalom. My name is Patricia Wilson, and I'm from Camden, New Jersey, and my daughter introduced me to the truth. I knew I was looking for the truth, and you, IUIC, was just it for me. It was that piece of the puzzle that made Better me say it. And you guys, yes, and you guys are talking of war, and America need to be prepared. We need to be prepared as the children of Israel, God's chosen people. And I was in Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. We have to be prepared. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm right now I'm sewing fringes on my garment. My oh, dress. praise I the got sister. Of all my pants, I gave them to my sister. I donated clothes to the church. I changed my whole dress attire to dress rep as a woman um we're going to be getting married soon after we get some counseling we've been together for almost 30 years and the truth is now a part of our life like 
Jesus, God was black, and that's it. God was a black man, and I've been looking for my tribe. I come from a tribe. It's called the uh, Tamanac, Virginia um, tribe, the Renuki tribe. Oh, so okay, deep, okay. So deep just to find my roots and my ancestors. Oh, and, okay. Uh, just for the tribe of gas, sis. That's right. Yes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, you praises. all. I watch you. I tune in. I don't comment sometimes because I am a woman and a woman should be silent. So that's sis, what I Sis, you do. can I'm comment. That's not what it's talking things. about. You can comment, sis. That's not what no, it's talking it's about. No, no. You good, sis. Okay. You can comment. Oh, I just want to thank you guys so, 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 <laughs> all so much. All praise. My all sister. Praise thank you for calling, God. sis. All praise to the most high. All, all praise. All praises. Yes, ma'am. All right. Shalom, sis. Take care. All right. Hey, read that. Read that script. Thessalonians. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5 and verse 1. Come on. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Because mm -hmm. why? Because, you know, if we f profess to be believers in Christ, we should be able to do what? Identify, right? Right. All right, go ahead. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. We know it perfectly. So let's prepare perfect. Let's, let's be perfect like Christ said in Matthew 5 and 48. It is obtainable. It is obtainable, all right? Steer away from the willful sin. If you fell short, get up out of that thing and sin no more, all right? right, right. We're approaching the last day. So, hey, we're about to close it out right here. Thank y'all for tuning in for another episode of Rise on the Wall Radio Show. That's right. But before we go, all right, we got to choose your favorite officer today. Like is it going to be on. Officer Obadiah? Oh, Shalom, Officer Israel. Elijah. Hey, Shalom, Shalom Israel. Israel. Officer Samson. Shalom, Israel. Or Officer David. Hey, that's Shalom, Israel. I love all 12 tribes. All right, so we're going to put, right put a minute on the clock. Yeah, me too. I'll do the same thing for the clock. No, no, no. Samson, get out of here, no. man. Elijah. I love, I love everybody. Hey, don't take my saying. All bro. 12. Hey, I said I love all, all three tribes. Oh, people. you sound like somebody else. I ain't going <laughs> to mention his name, though. <laughs> I'll start with an E. <laughs> Hey, okay, Lord Elijah, show, Israel. Show, Israel. That was good. All praise. I pray y'all glean something from this show. Stay in the spirit, keep the commandments, and have patience. All right, what we got? 30 seconds? 20? Okay. 30 seconds. 19? Hey, uh, 15. 15. Hezekiah be back there cheating, man. He back, hey, huh. he back there uh, plugging the boat. 10. All praises, all That's praises. That's it? That's Israel, it. We love you, Israel. That's the time? That's right. All right, who is it? A tie? Oh. Whoa! Oh. We, praise, hey, that's praise. history. Yeah, that's, that's the history, first right time. That's the first time. Oh, yeah. Hey, all praises. Benji and Levi for the dub. All praises. That's all right. praises, Israel. Are you yeah. serious? Are you playing or is it really a tie? Okay, at, at the, the time. time? Oh. He said at the time, oh, so that's the end. Wait. It's A. A is a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. All right, so all praise to the most high. Hey, once again, <laughs> happy to bring you, uh, you know, righteous content to my right. Shalom, Israel. Also, Badiah. Shalom, Israel. Officer Elijah. Shalom, Israel. Officer Samson. All right, Israel. I'm Officer David. Shalom. All right, and this is Israel United in Christ, and this is the Writers on the Wall Radio Show. Lords, where we'll be back next week with another show. And with that, we say Shalom. Shalom, Shalom Israel.